Topic 23 is all about adding and subtracting complex numbers. So what is a complex number? Um, recall from topic 22 that we said in math, whenever you take a square root of a negative 1, that produces a new unit, which we call the imaginary unit i. So it's just a completely different um, uh, new system of numbers. Now what a complex number is, is a number that's made up of real parts and imaginary parts. Formally speaking, a complex number, and we typically use the letter z to denote that, is equal to a plus b i. Well, actually, let me rewrite this. A complex number in standard form, that's important, z equals a plus b i. So that is typically uh, the way we write complex numbers in standard form, a, some number a plus some number b i. Uh, the important thing is, This a and b here are just the regular numbers that you think of. However, we call a the real part because it doesn't have any i's attached to it. And we call b the imaginary parts. Some examples include 2 plus 3i. That's an example of a complex number. So it's two pieces. Um, negative 1 minus 4i, that's a complex number. Uh, you know, 7 minus 3i, that's a complex number. Strictly speaking from the definition, even regular numbers, 2, that's a complex number because 2 is the same thing as 2 plus 0i. Likewise, um, 4i is a complex number because technically 4i is the same thing as 0 plus for I. So complex numbers are a huge group of numbers that contains real numbers, imaginary numbers, or both combined together. Well, since they are just regular numbers, we can perform arithmetic on them. And topic uh, 23 specifically talks about adding and subtracting. Well, the name of the game is if you can combine like terms, you can add or subtract complex numbers because that's all it is. That's the big secret. Uh, let's do uh, a couple of examples so you guys can uh, get the point. Say, for instance, we had, you know, the complex number negative 5 plus 3i, and I wanted you to add, you know, 2 minus 6i to it. Well, the parentheses, I like to write them down to emphasize that they're each um, a separate complex numbers. But remember, if there's no multiplication or no exponents, parentheses don't really need to exist. So in this example, since, I'm, since nothing's multiplying the parentheses or using an exponent, this is the same thing as if the parentheses were not even there. And then the name of the game is combine like terms. Combine all the real parts, so the regular numbers, that I've highlighted, and combine all the imaginary parts, the part that have the eyes, which I've highlighted. And then you just go ahead and add them together. Let's do the blues. Negative 5 plus 2 is a negative 3. Let's do the yellows. 3i minus 6i is a negative 3i. That is the sum. Easy peasy. A word of advice when it comes to subtraction. Um, I typically just go ahead and subtract, but I'm, you know, I'm okay with my, my minuses, my pluses and minuses. If you know you are the type of student uh, that, you know, makes some mistakes with subtraction, this is my advice to you. So let's say I wanted to subtract, um, I don't know, 8 plus 4i. Let's do a negative 8. Let's make it interesting. My advice to you is that for every subtraction problem, you go ahead and distribute the negative. So I would rewrite this as negative 13 plus 9i as normal, but when I distribute the negative, negative times a negative 8 becomes a positive 8, negative times a plus 4i becomes a minus 4i. Then you go ahead and combine like terms. You don't have to do this. You can go ahead and straight up subtract, but if you, you know yourself better than I do, if you know you make mistakes a lot, go ahead and take the extra step to distribute.
So the blues gives us a negative 5. The yellows gives us a positive 5. five. It's, it's pure coincidence that these have the same numbers and magnitude. It's not always going to be that way. And the only way that this thing can get harder is, I don't know, if I ask you to add multiple pieces, like three pieces together. Say, for example, oh, I don't know, um, negative 1 plus 2i, and I want you to subtract 12 minus i, but then go ahead and add negative 11 plus 6i. Oh, no, I see a subtraction, so let's take my advice. The first thing I would do is I would distribute that negative. So negative 1 plus 2i and then distribute, that's a minus 12, distribute, that's a plus i, and then just go ahead and rewrite uh, everything else down, um, plus a negative 11 uh, plus 6i. Okay. And then just go ahead and combine like terms. What are the regular numbers? This negative 1, this negative 12, this negative 11, and then what are the imaginary numbers? This 2i, this i, and the 6i. Put it all the, together, let's do the blues. Negative 1 with the negative 12 is a negative 13, with the negative 11 is a negative um, 24. And let's do the yellows. 2i with 1i with 6i gives us a positive 9i. That is the sum. So to add and subtract complex numbers, just combine like terms.